Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today you want to take a look at the battle in between of the number one and the number two seed in Germany pretty much non-stop. So we have like a, I guess three players who are always at the top and right now we have like always the same number one and two and yesterday we had finally a match in between of those two so we will take a look at that obviously and let's take a look at a couple of more hybrid attacks since the balance changes hit the server is already like one day past and this means uh, we can take a deeper look at how things actually look like was it a big change or not and one more thing the go pass is expiring in nearly half a day and if you guys are considering buying the new go pass make sure to go in your settings and more settings and at the bottom you can find the creator code um, if you want to support me with buying, for example, the Gold Pass, make sure you have the credit code in there. Every seven days the code expires, so you might have to retype it in if you want to support me or pick any other creator. It would be a huge support for me or any of us and for our channel, obviously. But let's take a look at the first attack and this one is going to be Itsu versus Aquaria. Right now we're always number two and number one in Germany and it's always like kind of like in between, like... If one guy has a, it's a bad day, the other one's at the top, the other way around. So, was kind of lucky for me finding her because um, it was. It, this is one of the bases which I most of the time struggle against. But she kind of has a um, modified version of the base, and I feel like this base, at least from taking a look at the base, I felt like it was a bit weaker to hybrid. So let's see how we can do this. Um, and what we try to do, and like you can always see like this hole at the top. Uh, where troops might go inside, might not go inside, super random. And then you have the three single front towers going around the tunnel. Like, you should know this base, right? So what we're trying to on this base is we try to charge into the channel. And what we're trying over here, we try to take out most of the stuff at the top. And then we're going into the town hall with our hybrid. The builder has supporting everything because this makes sure that everything is going inside. And well, so far it's looking great for us because our queen is actually going to the channel and she can reach basically everything from over there. Which means, <coughs> sorry, which means she can reach the expos, she can reach the eagle, she can reach everything. And this kind of looks like a smiley, but yeah. So let's take a look at as soon as we're starting off with our king, we wait to take out the enemy king and then we're starting off with our hybrid. So right now everything is looking really good, but now ta let's take a look at those spring traps. This attack is crazy, crazy baited. At least it feels like it with all of the traps. Maybe those traps are working against other strategies as well. I don't know, but just take a look at how many freaking troops are flying around. It's crazy. Like the next troop is flying once again. It's, it's super, super crazy. Luckily for me, only one or two miners are flying, which is good for me, obviously. Even though they changed already with the spring trap, I feel like it wasn't like too much of an impact, at least so far. So we use the queen ability, make sure that she's staying alive, have a really nice freeze on the back end with the scatter shot. And this attack is looking like a triple. So really good for us, obviously. I will show you guys how the bracket is looking um, yesterday. And uh, well, it's always a really, really nice battle in between of us. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice if you have like a um, couple of two people or like a couple of people who are always challenging each other to push them even further to the top. That's always nice to have. So this is really nice. And this is obviously like this was even more motivating for me um, since we got the triple over here. So that was nice for us. And yeah, so far it's going great. I will obviously show you guys a couple of more attacks uh, in a second. But first, let's wait for the triple coming in and then I will show you guys how it looks like right now in the Legend League, or like not right now, but like yesterday, as soon as we finished with this attack, because this was actually my last attack of the day, which was kind of funny. So right now, or like yesterday, right now, um, I wasn't at number one, Akraya was at number four, but take a look at her attacks. She still has a tons of attacks left, which means if she's doing her attacks, uh, or like if she did her attacks um, back then, she should be easily above me. So once again, we're number one and number two, and it's always a lot of fun if you can challenge each other. And one thing which I find super annoying, and this is a huge thing in my opinion in Legend League, and I don't know how you guys feel about it, because that would be super nice to know. And um, if you guys feel the same about that, I can push there for it and try to like give you, give even more feedback. Because what I'm saying right now is, you can see this right now, it kind of looks like I'm super bad. Like place 106 
and we drop 105 spots. The reason for this is because we have already six defenses in, but no attacks done. In the in the Legend League, whatever, it looks super bad because you cannot see how many defenses someone has already on his base at this day, which means it's super, super strange. So what I think should be added, like those entire attacks over a season, I feel like those are pretty useless. Like, I do not care whether the guy is playing from the beginning or like, Came later into the season, I don't care. I want to see the daily stats. Those will be super helpful. So if I see someone dropped a lot and see he's zero out of eight attacks, or like he did zero out of eight attacks so far, but already got six out of eight attacks on defense, we know this guy will most likely still climb. And this will be something which will be super helpful. Let me guys know what you think about that. If you even care about it, because if you're not a legendary, I guess you won't care. Except if you're following like the top players and see how they uh, how they do up there. But yeah, either way, let's get back to the next attack. And this one, it's kind of surprising to me. If you guys try to think back a little bit, do you guys remember when we always complained with seeing so many ground expos with using ground troops? I feel like that wasn't really too far ago because if I think now about this, it's like, yeah, okay, four ground expos, that's kind of usual. So it's crazy, the, the meta shift, what we had. So many single front towers, so many ground explodes, it's super crazy. So I think even though it's annoying for me because I like ground attacks and it wasn't because they're strong and just like, I don't know, I like the queen charges, I like the ground attacks um, personally more than the air attacks. So I wasn't really like, I was fine with the meta before that, but now with all of the ground expos, it's sometimes a little bit annoying, but I can totally understand it. Like Yetis right now are so crazy, crazy busted. I hope that they're receiving another nerf because I feel like, I don't know, they're just so annoying to deal with. Like, it's so freaking annoying. Either way, on this base, what we're having over here, it's kind of like the similar setup as we had before on Akaria, because we have, once again, those three single front towers surrounding the town hall. And now, the key thing on this one is we have only defenses at the top right, which means the Hawk Riders will take those out, the Miners will be stuck on the ground skeletons and this means the Hawk Riders will clear out the defenses and this, mine, this means the Miners have to go inside and this is clutch on this base and this is the huge error on this base as well if you're attacking it with hybrid. So if you want to tweak this base, make sure that you have non-defensive buildings touching the corners basically and this would help this base a lot. We froze the shot a little bit too late, but either way, now the heaters are switching, which, which isn't the bad thing either. either. So that's a, kind of nice, a, nice, a nice thing about uh, using hybrid or ground attacks in general with using he healers. If your queen is dying, the healers still have value as long as you're not luring them into an air defense or something like that. So even though the healers are now dead, they had still a lot of value. And uh, yeah, like I said, those setups with the three single front towers, it's kind of nice to have if you're used to them. And I feel like this was the meta for like one month now with having the single front towers around the town. I feel like people slowly figuring out how to attack those bases. And I think there's gonna be a new meta really soon um, because I feel like those bases are not defending as well anymore. So people have to change stuff. And well, let's see. Let's see what is going to happen next. But let's take a look at the next base. And this one is kind of like an old base as well. One of those teaser bases again. And I think you guys remember what I'm normally saying on those bases. Get with the Yeti blimp into one of the Inferno Towers. Get the CC lure. Everything looks good. And then walk into the Town Hall. Normally I try to do that, yes. But sometimes, like if you see the pathing for your Queen really well on the back end. Um, then you can sometimes just charge into the Town Hall. And something which I did horribly wrong on this one is... I used the poison by accident. I wanted to drop a, po uh, a freeze, but I dropped the poison instead. Which means we will struggle most likely now against the CC. Especially, especially because right now a lot of players are using those 30 archers, 15 goblins um, in the CC, which are super annoying, or witches. So this is something to consider. And this is why we use the siege barracks kind of early on to make sure that we have support against the enemy CC. Because if we have two witches coming out and we have nothing to support our queen, she will stay on those witches for ages or like for on the skeletons basically. So this is why I added the, um, the, 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 the siege barracks over there. And this is an important thing you guys have to notice when pushing in Legend League or when you're trying to push in Legend League. So... If you're pushing a legend, 
it's not about how many triples you do. Obviously, it's nice to triple and it's really important, but if you triple maybe two times a day or even maybe one time a day, it's not important that you triple more often. It's important that you increase the average percentage of your other attacks. So let's say something is going wrong, like on my attack on this one. You have to recover so this that you're getting at least 90 plus percent, even if you're not getting a triple. Let's say someone is getting on average 95% or like above 90%, in between 90 and 95%. And one or two times a day, he's getting a triple on average. If you do this, you're getting around 260 trophies every single day, which is normally a lot if you have like a decent base. And it should be a lot to like, you should easily make it into the top 100 in your local leaderboard and maybe even in the top 200 considering how good your base is. But this is kind of the key for pushing. If something is going wrong, you have to recover, you have to stay concentrated and make sure that even your fails are really high percentage two star. Obviously it's nice to triple more, but let's say you're having four or five triples a day and the rest of the attacks are like low percentage two stars or even one stars. If this is going to, uh, going to happen, you will have the same amount of trophies as someone who's having a really high percentage average and only one triple. And this is kind of crazy. So it's always the key that you can save the attack. Or on this one, we saved the attack that well that we sk still got the triple done. So this was kind of key for this attack. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, make sure to kind of get this in your head. It's not always, not always about the triple. Sometimes two stars high percentage is really good as well in trophy pushing. And uh, well, I hope you guys liked today's video. I hope you guys will return back tomorrow and let's see if you guys are buying the gold pass make sure to use the credit code if you like and would like to support me and my content make sure to use the itsu credit code it doesn't really matter whether it's big or small letters um just the credit code itsu thank you guys so much see you guys tomorrow bye bye